attitudes, curiosity, wonder, um, joy. Joy would be top of the list, right? Remember that we are the luckiest creatures on earth to do this job, paid or not. This is a gift from the gods. So you, you never want to forget it. And you never want to take it for granted. And sometimes the joy should be so strong. It's just like, and that's like at two in the morning. And then you remember everyone's asleep. You try to like, um, and I think uh, it's a good skill too, is to learn to, to relax as well. Get out of your own way and stuff. So at night or in the morning, whenever it is you're most jazzed with inspiration, learn how to take a breath so you can channel it instead of letting it channel you. Because truly it's like a runaway horse galloping down the hill and it'll take you places. But if you let it go there, you'll never get where you need to go. So learning to be mastery enough of that is important. And I, I recommend some sort of breathing you know, um, counting your blessings is, is a way, is a kind of meditation too. So I would always do that, right? I thought, yeah, there's going to be some way to get some reward as you get older, right? And, and so I thought, oh, ah, if I count that many times, you know, each year is like a second. As I get older, I get to sleep in in the morning. Ha! So I started doing it. And then when I got to be about 40, I started falling asleep again. So to stay awake, I would count 40 things, um, 40 fantastic people I've known, 40 great moments in bed, 40 great drawings that I was lucky enough to do or see or whatever. And oh my God, you wake up like ready, ready to go. Cause you're so, you just remember, you remember how good it is. It's easy to forget. So yeah, those kind of things I think are important. a lot of really great advice and it probably won't mean anything to you you know a lot of what we make our as our heroes we take from really not very profound sources at all right so i really love superman i know a lot of most of the world seems to love batman these days but i really love superman and he's just a stupid cartoon character and actually i looked at some of the early comics because there's a show in paris right now carla and i had a show there and ah uh, he said some pretty stupid things and it's wearing his underpants on the outside. And so, you know, it's not the hero you choose, but as a kid, I saw this guy who's not from earth. He has no reason to love us at all. None other than two people were kind to him and took him in and raised him as their son. And he chose us. How could I get all choked up in a minute? He chose us. Why? Why? Especially as they do in the movies. Now he can hear everything. He hears all the bad stuff. He knows what we're capable of. Right. He can swoop down and stop us fighting, but he can't make us not fight. And if he does, he's not Superman anymore. He's a dictator. So to see somebody who can um, walk away and yet he chooses to stay with us and to love us is just amazing to me. Amazing. And I want to be worthy of that. So that's not somebody telling me advice. It's somebody writing a dumb comic that gave me a character that made me want to aspire to the love and the trust he gave to us. Does that? Wow, I got emotional there. Superman! <laughs> That's crazy! That's awesome. I think it's the same for everybody, whatever you love, whether it's anime or, you know, unicorn or whatever it happens to be. If it has a profound significance to you, it's as good as anything, really. You know, that's your thing. So I come to THU, I go to these kind of events, and a lot of the time, out of great respect and love, I get the, oh, I'm so glad to meet you, and, and that's good, that's nice. And then it's, you are so amazing, and then I'm getting up on a little pedestal, and before I know it, I can never be you. It's like, no, don't you say that! Because if I'm responsible for making you feel like you can't do it, I don't want to be your hero, ever, right? We're colleagues. We draw some magical force comes out of us and it's the same force and we should all just be grateful to be holding that pencil but don't ever make me a hero to make it so that you are not because we are all those heroes that is really important so when you come to a place like this and i like the thu promotes this be my colleague be my be, be an ally be a friend you're one of the avengers one of the legion of superheroes too and i just want to know your powers i want to know what you can do and then i'll show you mine right so there you are don't put your heroes on pedestals. It's lonely up there.